Hello there, and welcome back to my channel, Novice Modelling in the Midlife Crisis. My name is Andy, and I'm just about to have my uh, do my second coat on three of my dirty dozen Spitfires. Uh, the one we've got in front of us at the moment is the Testers 1978 Mark II. As we can see, it's dried off, and it doesn't appear to be too bad. Uh, I mean, this is the... First time I've, well it's the second time I've actually had a go at uh, using my airbrush. The first was doing the um, the priming and now we moved on to the uh, top coat and yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite happy with it. It looks, it doesn't look too bad. So anyway, without further ado, let's uh, crank up my airbrush and we'll uh, put a bit more paint on, I think. And hopefully we'll be done. And I can go and have something to eat. So here we go. Like I said in the previous video, I'll thin this paint down to around about 50-50. So, for me it's all a bit of experimentation at the moment. So I'm totally not familiar with the equipment or what I'm actually doing. So I hope I'm doing a, a reasonably good job. I suppose we'll, we'll see later on when I... Uh, apply the next uh, lot of paints. Now I'm going to be doing these in um, green, so we'll camouflage them up and um, I'll make a film of the, uh, the green coat going on as well. Mm -hmm. I have a uh, 12 Spitfires ready prepared for uh, painting. I call it a mass, pro mass production technique that I'm doing. Um, <laughs> like I've previously said, I'm not too bothered about the actual end product as these are just. I think we used to, used to use the term of. Um, Cannon fodder, <coughs> cannon fodder for these these planes. Because they are just practice moves at the end of the day. So this one is the Ventura, and as you can probably see, I made a real pig's ear of making this. It's got huge gaps, but I can confirm that these are quite difficult to actually make and require a lot of preparation, which this one just didn't get. I literally just bashed it together in about 15 minutes. You've seen the video of me building this one you'll uh, know what i'm talking about and if you've seen me build any of my uh dirty dozen spitfires you'll know that i haven't given any of them much care and attention that's obviously something that in future builds i'm actually going to uh, rectify i'm actually in for uh in work for four days four nights tomorrow and then I'm off for 12. So the plan is to uh, build, a, build a load of models basically. I'm kind of hoping maybe to get at least six done in the 12 days off. Uh, I'll see about maybe doing 12. That would be good, because I've got loads of them. I've got a lot of models. Probably got enough to see me to retirement in about 20 years. I believe most of you guys call it a stash. Well, this is a stash. I can tell you. I think that's just been reasonable. <coughs> Last bar. Oh. Now I'll go on to the last of the three, which is the 1967 Hawk Mark 22. 
I've got to be honest, this, this colour's gone on a lot better. Oh, I've actually got another one here as well. That's just that's the uh, colour of the undersides, that pale grey. Uh, this one was primed in white, as you can see. And that only took two coats. So, yeah, I think the, uh, the black primer is a bit of a... Not a great idea, but this isn't this isn't going on too bad. I must admit, I'm quite impressed with this airbrush. It only cost about 100 quid. I know you can spend a lot more on these things, but it seems to be perfectly adequate for, for learning anyway. Even though it is rather noisy, I don't know if, uh, like I say, I've got no experience of these things, so I've got no idea whether they normally make this much woody racket, but <clears throat> this is what we've got to play with at the minute. There we go. I think that will just about do. Let's turn that off. And incidentally, I'm about halfway through my commando comic moving targets it's uh, about a british company of hum humber armored cars in italy trying to get into a uh, <laughs> trying to get up a pass and they're confronted by a bunch of italians and some germans in stub threes they're about to get ambushed so i think i'll finish that off while i'm making my dinner And then I'll pop back in later on and I'll just see if these are okay. Um, I won't bother doing another video with any touching up and need to do. Because, well, you guys have probably seen enough already. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and continue to watch my model making madness. This is Andy, the Muppet who makes models badly. Signing off. Be seeing you.